Hello guys, it's episode 2 of Minecraft Reverse Engineering. I'm really sorry for the audio problems in the previous episode. I really couldn't identify it until one of you pointed out. Uh, I was editing with my headphones on. Yeah, sounded louder than it was. So, we're back. So, now we're gonna do something fun. Fun with arrows. Okay, that was the quirkiest title ever. So let's create a new world. Um, let's just call coding. Creative, blah, blah, blah. Cheats, generous, start to default, blah, blah, blah. Create something. Yeah, so. 8%, 16, 28, 40%. Yep. And our name is player 847. So we're in this world. Let me reduce some settings so that it will run optimally on my Eclipse based version of Minecraft. Max FPS. I shouldn't do that. Yeah, so this is a world running on debug mode, so let's quit. So, what I did to get to there was hit this little bug right here. When you hit that, you will get a one that a version of Minecraft that can be constantly updated by. Eclipse. It means if you change some source code, it will automatically update in the game. So, yeah. So that's MCP for you. And the debug function is part of Eclipse. So let me put this in a different window. So we'll run it as a small screen. Here we'll be doing our editing. Okay. So I'm not. I'm going to tell you about the file hierarchy in Minecraft. Okay. You do know that there's different things in Minecraft where there are blocks, items, entities, like an entity is something that behaves, has properties, has interactions. One of one entity that I can say is um a creeper. Okay, that's an entity. But at the same time an arrow is an entity. Any item that's floating is an entity. So it's like uh, there's a lot of entities. An item is one that's an entity that's not an entity but it's an item in your inventory. So example this block is an item. See, when I drop it, it's an entity. It does that jumping animation. When I pick it back up, it becomes an item. And when I place it, it becomes a block. So there's a whole hierarchy to this. Okay. So, yeah, this is the basis on which it's coded with this hierarchy. So, yeah, so we're going to work with this. So now, um,. Yeah, let's just go to this flat piece of land right here. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah. So today what I was thinking we could do is, uh, fun with arrows. So, we could be playing around with the arrow class. But you do know that there's a difference between an arrow, like I said just now, as an item and as an entity. So it's like, I drop this. It's different from I shoot this. It registers differently to the game, even though in the next update you can register this as this on a wooden button. This will trigger a the item will trigger a wooden pressure plate, but the entity in the current update will not. But you can trigger it with smoke updates. Yeah, that's that's a whole thing by itself. Oh, let me reduce the sound that things freaking loud what oh okay like oh my god okay so now we're gonna play try to change some settings in the entity arrow class okay in the class you can find it uh, by going to yeah file mm, let's resource uh, resource open resource okay uh, no not that open resources under navigate open resource or shift uh, command R so you type here entity arrow so you should find one file if you have a server you, there'll be a client and a server file 
In this you will see Entity error extends entity and that's where it's inheriting the properties like entities, living object, blah 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 and all that. And then you have all these things in ground falls, can be picked up, blah 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 blah. Uh yeah, I'll tell you why there's such things because you know the infinity bow? Yeah, you're not supposed to be able to pick up those arrows. That will be called infinite arrows. Um yeah. Example: If you see some of these things here, like set velocity on update. Now we're gonna basically focus on this on update. So what this does, this dot in ground is it checks whether it's in the ground, and especially this file. This checks whether it's in the ground for 1,200 ticks, which is about five minutes. It will kill the object. That, yeah, I can prove to you that. So now it's 1,200 ticks. If I drop this, that will stay there for, uh, let's just observe, that will stay there for more than 10 seconds. So let me reduce the sound. Yeah. Let me just turn it all to two. Yeah, it stays there definitely for a long time. But if I change this number here, let's say we put um, 100, yeah, that will be about 5-10 seconds. I'm not sure. So if you notice, after 5 to 10 seconds, it will disappear. Yep, there it was. There it did. So that controls the whole... Yeah, the way this behaves as an entity. So you can do a lot of things with this. So example, I, I want to make this a bomb. Okay. So we'll go to the resource file called entity TNT. TNT prime .java. This is when you light the TNT. As I told you, a TNT is different from a TNT block is different from a primed entity because, yeah, they have different properties. So, example, see this TNT here. This TNT. Let's set it off somewhere. Um, yeah. This piece of TNT is different from this. This is an entity. It's primed. It can do animations and all that. So that's totally different. So an arrow can share the same thing, but the arrow item is like the same. This is equivalent to this, and this is equivalent to. How shall I do this? Yeah, I just set it on fire. That's equivalent to this on this, and let me. Yep, so you get the point. So let's just make um let's just make the arrow explode. So you can trigger walking, blah blah blah. So let's see. Okay, this part. See? This on ground it will just stay on the ground. If this fuse is lesser than zero, this dot kill it and then if this is remotely exploded, this dot explode. And this dot explode means this dot world object that create explosion entity position so it creates an explosion at that point for four floats so example let's this just if the fuse is not lit yet it's lit but it's not done yet it will spawn smoke let's copy this line and let's put it in here so if this dot ticks dot ground is lesser than 100 you Okay, we don't have to do that. If this dot ticks dot ground is more than 100, you set it to dead. But as it's becoming 100, we want this to spawn smoke. So this will result in a pretty cool illusion. So example, I shoot it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You have smoke and after 100 ticks it dies and the particle just goes away so that is the whole like thing about this whole series it's about exploring the quirky parts of minecraft so now let's make it explode <laughs> i crazy so this dot world object dot create explosion entity this is an entity because anything can create an explosion. 
So we're casting this to an entity. We're just going to say null because we don't need that. Um, so now we get this up position x. Let me copy that because I like to write it out. x, y, z. And the last variable is a float that determines the power of the explosion. So let's put 1.0 f. Remember, you need an f at the back because a float is a floating point. It's a special type of integer in Java. So now that's going to explode. That's a 1, one f explosion. Anything less than 1, if I'm not wrong, will not damage normal blocks. It will damage certain blocks, but not all. So let's do a 2f explosion. No, no, we're going to ruin this terrain. So now we do a 2f explosion. That's two float explosion. Uh, and um, yeah, let's just do four. Four is the power of a real TNT. So we'll set it off beside each other to compare. It will look. Um, it will do uh, almost the same damage, but they will have a difference because there's a luck to it. So yeah, we're gonna set off a TNT here. And we're gonna shoot an arrow. So we're gonna set off the TNT at the side of the hill. That's how much damage a TNT does, which which is four float explosion. Now we do the same damage to that block there, so it should create a big ass crater at the side of the mountain, and it did. So that's now we officially can. We are God. Yeah, we are God in Minecraft. Pigs, obey me. But you must know that if I hit a pig, it's not valid because the arrow when it hits an entity. It it causes damage and it kills itself. So why don't we make an arrow that explodes when it touches an entity and becomes a mine when it does not? Okay. All we have to do is copy the create explosion, and we have to go to the this dot hit entity part. See, there's knockback strength to these things. So, yeah, these are all the new update parts. So, it makes the code uh, more comprehensive, I would say. Oh, yeah, there. On collide with player. So, this, if this is a remote object and this is in ground and this airstrike is less than zero, can be picked up, blah blah, blah. this is hit entity. Random that pop. Oh, well, this collide with player, not entity. Oh, sorry. So, yep, there, there it is. So now this should kill an entity if it touches it. Oh, why doesn't it do that? So we copy variable 4 which holds the entity hit and we're gonna Yeah, we're just gonna copy this. So it's gonna be more for the entity hit and it's gonna explode at its position. So this should make the pig explode. Okay.
Okay, I think it does. Yeah, it does not explode. So. Okay, 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 okay. I know what the problem is, and we'll go through that next episode. It's because that's a different entity. So, one of the coolest things about this is that, as I told you, it's an entity, and it's one file that is being instantiated every time it's called. So, example, I get a skeleton. Now, this thing is the most dangerous mob in the game. Let me just tell you that. I'm serious, that is now the dangerous mob in the game. I'm serious, that was him. Ooh. So now this guy is the most dangerous mob in the game. That thing is a killer machine. Especially when you go tonight. Let me increase the brightness for you guys. Oh. Crap. Well, now we are going to. We are like the most powerfulest. This bow is the most powerfulest weapon in the game. It's more powerful than me. Oh shit. That scared me. That scared me. Oh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Damn it. Oh. Okay. Let's go. Archer these. Oh, I missed. Yes. Get the hell out of there. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Ha ha! 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 Okay, oh, you sir are not gonna be exposed to the steel. Okay, 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 ok